What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and this is Disney Heroes. Well, it's actually the forums. So today we are going to uh, take a look at this four year anniversary update. So I know I haven't uploaded anything the last uh, month or so, but I do have a very exciting Disney Heroes franchise tournament going on right now over on the community tab of my YouTube channel. So if you just go to my main channel on either desktop or mobile, uh, you just click over to the community tab and you'll be able to see all of these polls going on right now. So you only have 24 hours to vote each day on current day of the tournament. So right now we actually have Hercules going up against uh, Atlantis and Hercules is putting down the beat down today. Uh, this might be the biggest blowout of the entire tournament, I think. I thought it might be Kim Possible, because Kim Possible actually won on day one of the tournament, 83 to 17, but I think... And his name is Hercules! Hercules! Hercules might be the biggest beat down, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, so if you didn't see this yet, uh, we have this going on every single day over on the community tab. If you are subscribed, it should just pop up on your feed somewhere at some point in the day. But every single day at 5 p.m., this resets for a new poll. So you can vote every single day of this month. We are just kicking off the second half of round one, so you still have plenty of time to persist participate if you have not yet. So definitely check that out. I'm going to be going through a little bit more of my thoughts towards the end of the video, but I definitely just wanted to get that out of the way for the first bit of this video. But anyways, we are going to get into this. Uh, check this out here. I knew it was Daisy Duck. I was already spoiled on that, so I'm not surprised by Daisy Duck at all, but I think there's going to be some other fun things going on because they always do something really fun for the uh, anniversary. As I know last year they did some like two week long, it's like triple port or something like that for like two weeks straight, so something pretty big. Stuff like that. Let's check out what they're going to do for the four year anniversary this year. Hello. Hi. Okay. We're so excited for our four year anniversary that we're just going to get straight into fun things that we have planned. First off, we have Daisy Duck joining from Mickey and Friends. Uh, we're so excited. I know she has been a very, very long awaited hero to join Disney Heroes. Definitely very worthy of being the 40 year anniversary hero, as she is definitely one of the most iconic heroes in Disney history, I guess you could say. So definitely pretty cool. She is actually gonna be a damage hero on the red team. I kind of expected her to be a control hero, kind of like Minnie, but whatever. Uh, she's gonna be in the Daisy Duck trial event. Oh, so they're bringing back those uh, special trials. So that's pretty cool. I know people were talking about what happened to those special trials. They did them for like a month, like four or five months ago or whatever it was over the winter. And then they kind of just ditched it for a little while. So I guess they're finally bringing the trial event thing back in the form of Daisy Duck. So I'm guessing it's going to be fairly easy to get Daisy Duck because if you remember last year, I think Fozzie was the uh, the three year anniversary hero last year. They made Fozzie extremely easy to get and you could get like hundreds and hundreds of his chips pretty easily just from the four year anniversary event. So I imagine this will be kind of similar to that. So you're probably going to be able to get Daisy chips pretty easily, but don't quote me on that. I could be totally wrong. But her white skill is going to be quick tempered Daisy throws a tantrum, silencing the closest enemies for a duration and dealing fantastic damage to them. So she's going to have silence, which is always extremely helpful. It stops heroes from using their skills altogether. Her green skill is me, me, me. Daisy gains a duplicate of the last several buffs gained by other allies for a duration. Daisy also gains shield HP for a duration. Ooh, so she has kind of a Kermit thing, but only for herself. That's pretty insane, actually. So pairing Daisy with Kermit would be pretty insane. But yes, yeah, so that is basically a Kermit thing that she gives to herself, and she also gains a shield during this. Her blue skill is going to be all maked up. All maked up. All make up. Not make up, honestly. A little bit more. Daisy slingshots a compact from her purse onto all enemies granting herself and all allies precise for a duration. Daisy also removes invisibility and deals fantastic damage to each enemy. Ooh, so she has precise and she removes invisibility? Damn, she's gonna be a huge Bagheera counter. Kinda crazy that they would give uh, Bagheera a huge counter like that right off the bat. Because he hasn't been in the game very long. I guess they see Bagheera as a problem, maybe? Maybe that's why they did this? I don't really see Bagheera as too, too much of a problem. Bagheera is very good, but either way, they're giving her precise as well as removing invisibility. So she's gonna be a huge invisibility counter, basically. Anytime you see invisibility, you can probably just throw Daisy in the line and you will probably win as long as she has any kind of semblance of survivability. 
which I'm going to guess that she does based on her green skill. So, yeah, she's looking pretty good so far, honestly. Displeased Duck is her purple skill. When another ally is charmed, Daisy gains basic damage and skill power for a duration. Daisy can gain basic damage and skill power from this skill once every X seconds. When an ally is charmed during the cooldown, Daisy instead heals for a percent of her max AP. So, she's also a bit of a charm counter. I don't know if this is going to be a huge charm counter. It doesn't sound too, too insanely good or anything like that, but uh, as a charm counter, nonetheless, might be able to take advantage of it by dealing more damage to the uh, enemies while your team is charmed or something like that. So I guess that's kind of cool. Um, and her red skill, practical accessory, when buffed by me, 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 Daisy's all maked up. That's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it all maked up. I'm sorry, guys. Deals extra fantastic damage and silences all enemies for a duration. When Daisy loses a buff, all other allies gain basic damage and skill power for a duration. Allies can gain basic damage and skill power this way once every X seconds. That's an interesting skill right there. So whenever Daisy loses a buff, and she also gives herself buffs with her green skill, she gives allies basic damage and skill power. I'm guessing this doesn't stack. It only lasts for a few seconds. But if it stacks, this would be a pretty insane red skill, honestly. Wow. And her battle badge is, uh, when silence is applied to enemies, she gains skill power and reality per red team ally. And the enhancement is going to be energy gain. So the energy gain one is in my opinion, the most useless battle badge boost, so I definitely recommend just not even bothering to enhance Daisy's battle badge, but that's just my opinion. And she's going to have uh, friendships with Donald Duck and Fear. So, we have the actual anniversary event. I've already given a little bit of my thoughts on Daisy. I think she sounds actually very good, not gonna lie. Definitely one of the more impressive sounding kits that I've read in the most recent Heroes, I would say. She sounds like she's gonna be very good. Next up are the events we have planned. We're going to be doing another trial event. This will be eight days of the Daisy trial where you can earn Daisy hero chips and more. There will be 10 stages where each will get harder and harder with 32 chances total to play over eight days. All ports and trials will be open for the week with trial uh, with drop events happening every day. So if we're going to have ports and trials for every single thing for a week, I'm guessing it might be a double port and trials at that time also. That's kind of similar to what they did last year, so I would not be surprised if they did double port and trials as well on top of all of them being open for a week. So it's going to be a really good opportunity to especially get gold and XP from the ports during this time, so definitely stock up if you have port presets. We'll also be having daily giveaways starting at 5.16. The last giveaway will be on 5.23, so this is probably similar to uh, Christmas where they're just going to give us a few things that probably aren't going to be that great, and then it just ramps up to being some pretty good stuff on 5.23. It's probably going to be like stamina and disc power and things like that. It's going to start on May 16th, and here are some sneak peeks of some of the rewards you might get. So we got a four-year anniversary cake thing. That's pretty cool. Another four-year anniversary cake. We got a new border for the four-year anniversary. Very nice. Another new border. Cool. All right, so that's the four-year anniversary update. I'm excited for it. I know I haven't been coming out with anything lately, but I am definitely very excited to get into the four-year anniversary shenanigans. Like I said, I do have a tournament going on right now. And uh, now we're gonna get into my thoughts on that so far. So as we get into the second half of my tournament, I just wanna look back a little bit, give my thoughts on what went down on the first half of round one here. To start off with, on day one, we had the beat down that Kim Possible put down on DuckTales. 83 to 17, which is a huge victory. That was an expected blowout, but definitely a little bit more than I expected. This could go down as the biggest blowout of the entire tournament, but it looks like Hercules is going to give the uh, Kim Possible a run for her money as far as blowouts go. In day two, we had the closest match of our entire tournament so far in Little Mermaid versus Treasure Planet. This one was neck and neck the entire time, but Little Mermaid just barely eked it out, probably with her Ariel being really, really good and Jim kind of falling off a little bit but not really. Uh, Jim is still extremely good but Jim is really the thing holding up the franchise in this game. Uh, so is Ariel but I guess Ariel just barely eked out Jim as far as goodness goes. So Little Mermaid moved on to round two where she's going to face Impossible and I predict that might be the end of the line for the Little Mermaid. <laughs> 
<laughs> based on this matchup here, but we're gonna find out. It's up to you guys. On day three, we had a nice 69 to 31 Zootopia victory. This one, I definitely expected Zootopia to win, but this one was definitely a bit bigger of a uh, victory for Zootopia than I expected. I thought this one might be a little bit closer, but I guess none of the Winnie Pooh, the Pooh characters are really all that good anymore. They kind of had their time. This probably would have been way closer, like a year, maybe two years ago when uh, Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore were like really, really, really good. That's probably what happened there. Big Hero 6, I was really surprised by this one, honestly. People love Lilo and Stitch. Angel is one of the best heroes in the entire game. Stitch is just one of the most popular Disney characters in general, and Stitch is still usable in this game to this day. Uh, not nearly as good as he used to be. To be honest, I don't see too many Stitches anymore, but definitely still usable. And you can still use him in Invasion, even to this day. You got Joomba with Precise and Pleakley, who used to be uh, one of the best damage heroes in the game, but has kind of fallen off with the study, just kind of going to the wayside in the meta. But yeah, this one really shocked me with Big Hero 6 coming out with the big 73 to 27 on that day. Uh, and then this one's not too much of a surprise. None of the monsters and characters are super duper good, except for Randall. Randall definitely had his time. If this tournament were when Randall first came out, Monsters Inc. probably might have won. Uh, I don't know if Monsters Inc. would have won, honestly, but for a little while, Randall was like basically the Zeus of this game when he first came out, but definitely not really the case anymore. So Inside Out definitely blew Monsters Inc. out of the water there, uh, with still a pretty solid lineup in the Inside Out characters. This one also shocked me. I thought Alice in Wonderland was going to make this one even closer than it actually was, but The Incredibles kind of uh, came out with the big victory, 66-34 uh, against Alice in Wonderland, so that's what happened there. Onward, another pretty big victory there. Uh, same exact score actually as The Incredibles, which is interesting, but Onward, pretty big victory there. I don't really have too many thoughts there. Ian, one of the best in the game. And then, to round out the first half, we have another huge victory by Darkwing Duck to beat out uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's not a huge surprise at all. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, pretty weak characters all in all. There's not a single one that I don't think is above balanced. I don't even think if any of them are above decent, honestly, in my tier list. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on the first half of the tournament so far. The Big Hero 6 one was the biggest surprise to me. But yeah, so we're gonna be getting into the second half here where today, right now, uh, you'll have I don't know, probably about five or six hours by the time this uploads to get your votes in for Atlantis. Is Atlantis going to be the biggest blowout of the entire tournament? It's up for you to decide. Uh, and then at five o'clock today, we're gonna have Mulan going up against Disney and Friends with the brand new added Daisy as part of the vote there. So what do you guys think is gonna happen with that? That's gonna be an interesting vote just because Daisy just got announced, and um, they still got some pretty good characters going on over there. They got Pete, they got Mickey, who is still a pretty decent support, even to this day. Donnie, still useful. And you got Minnie, who is the queen of charm, I think, even to this day. Minnie is the queen of charm. So that's what's going on today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can see we got Jungle Book versus Tron, Tangled versus Toy Story, Lion King versus Pirates of the Caribbean, Bracket Ralph versus Emperor's New Groove, Pocus Pocus versus Frozen, and then to round out round one, we got Aladdin versus Muppets, which I predict is going to be another pretty big blowout. So this could also wind up being one of the biggest blowouts of the tournament as well. Tried to uh, keep things pretty even though throughout the tournament so that things are going to be exciting as we keep on going through the whole thing. So what do you guys think so far of this tournament? Have you been participating every single day? Did you not even know about it until right now as you watch this video? Definitely let me know down in the comments. I want to know all your thoughts. Who do you think is going to win the entire tournament? My prediction, I think Impossible is going to win. I think they are just the best franchise in the entire game, but that is up for you guys to decide. I can't even vote in this tournament, so I can't participate. So I'm just the host. I think Kim Possible's going to win. I feel like it's between Kim Possible, Barking Duck, Hercules, and Muppets. But there could definitely be some surprises that come out of this. But I guess we'll find out. It's up for you guys to decide. I was uh, definitely very surprised by the Big Hero 6. I thought that one was going to be a lot closer. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Definitely give me a like, subscribe, comment if you like my videos and you want to see an actual hero overview that comes out very soon. I'm going to get out of here. So, um, peace. Three. Four, five, fuck them more. How did Pooh go down? What?